Now, enough of politics. It's time to set sail with a fresh wind. He's conquered our skies, blasted off into space. And now Richard Branson has his sights on the high seas. The billionaire and his big new ships are promising to shake up the way we cruise. I love Australia and, and Australia seem to get on okay with me. And I'm really looking forward to coming and breaking a bottle of champagne over it. The billionaire and his new baby. All aboard Virgin Voyages. Next summer, Virgins cruising Australia. Before the ship sails down under, we've been invited for an exclusive look at what you can expect. A current affairs in the Mediterranean on board Valiant Lady. For Sir Richard Branson, life is one big adventure. His latest is Virgin Voyages. And we're on board for a whirlwind 72 hours, courtesy of Virgin. This is our running track. Okay. This is the wonderful Katie, who Hi, has Katie. Good uh, morning. How worked are you it doing out every day for two and a half years. Last two and, <laughs> and a half years. And do you work out every day on board, Richard? Yeah, a bit of tennis and a bit of a, a bit of kiting or whatever is going, a bit of biking, um, and then the rest of the day just goes goes swimmingly. Well, maybe a bit of swimming. <laughs> At almost 72 years old, Richard still rocks. Vintage records like Mike Oldfield and the Sex Pistols line the deck. And electric guitars are more than just decoration. It's cruising the Virgin Way. Richard, why the seas? Why have you decided to conquer the seas? Well, let's see, we've done space, we've done the air, we've done the, anyway. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so I, I was not somebody that uh, where the cruises appealed to enormously, um, and um, but aged about 28 or 27, I thought maybe we could sort of create, the, you know, the kind of cruise ship that I'd like to go on. And I thought, well, we'll make it for under 30 year olds. And, um, uh, and then I didn't have the money to do it, so it was under 40 year olds, under 50 year olds, <laughs> under 60 year olds. <laughs> um, and um, anyway, finally, we made it. We, we, we made enough money to be able to create the, the ship that we, we, we'd, we'd been dreaming about. This is it. Well, this is it before anybody's arrived. I've noticed, Richard, there's a bar on every corner, literally. There's a bar on every corner. And uh, you can, you can uh, walk on every table, every, every swimming pool. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Let me give you a hug. <laughs> there. There. It's, uh, yeah. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Good to see you. Richard, this has to be the best view of Barcelona. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. <laughs> they weren't sure whether they were going to let us berth here because it's such a narrow, uh, narrow entrance. But. Um, our captain proved, the, proved that he could do it without knocking Barcelona down. And in a cruising first, Virgin Voyages is going child free. Yeah, My grandchildren, the oldest is, the oldest two are six, and they, they set up a petition. And what I had to gently tell them was when they were 18. <laughs> <laughs> I would promise I'd take them on, 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 the cruise, on the cruise line myself and they'll have a, they'll have a good time. Little Etta and Artie may not have been successful, but their petition is now famous. Adults, enjoy the cruise. We know you deserve it. But the fact we can't go is total bull****. On board a Virgin Voyage, if you take your phone and you shake it, champagne will deliver to you within minutes. There are about 1,600 crew on board, many of them Aussies, including President Namal Savramatu. We have 78 Rockstar Suites on board. This mm -hmm. is the massive suite. Mm -hmm. It's the one that we theme most after Richard himself. It's pretty fancy, isn't it? Well, you know, it's Virgin Voyages. It's the Rockstar life. And the real showstopper. This is quite the balcony, Namal. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? It's got a hot tub got hammocks, we have our own little private patio here with a champagne table. And a table with stairs. Tell me a little bit more about this. Yeah, so this is an interesting one. So Richard's known for dancing on tables at Necker Island, so we thought okay. that when he comes on board, we should make it a little bit safer for him to make sure he has easy access up to that table. So I think we should do the rest of the interview up Why here. not? Let's do it. Thank you. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> Good view from up here. It is a great view from up here. Namal, this, this is the life. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all but you'll pay a rock star price for a rock star suite. 20, 
$1,000 a voyage. Prices for more standard cabins start at $1,200 per person. Virgin Voyages has three lady ships in its fleet, each about 280 metres long, able to host 2,700 passengers or sailors as Virgin likes to call them. The brand launched in March 2020, the same month the cruising industry was shut down. But Sir Richard Branson promises his ships are worth the wait. Worst businesses, airlines, cruise companies, fitness clubs, hotels, you name it, they were all closed down. So, um, so it's been, it's been, it has been really, really tough. Um, uh, so it made, it makes, you know, coming out of COVID all, all the more satisfying, seeing, you know, the 1,700 staff, their smiles. Both our passengers and our crew are vaccinated. We test people before they come on board. And we upgrade all our air filtration systems on board to be the same equivalent as what you'd see in hospitals. It was two years and four months exactly since my last time with passengers on board. So it feels absolutely great to be seeing the ship alive. Aris Medina's the captain. So even though we didn't have passengers on board, we had to keep the ships afloat. I'm just so looking forward to show to Australia the Virgin Way. There's something about Virgin and Australians that just gel. We found a fellow Aussie. That's correct, yes, I'm originally from Byron Bay. James is the senior chef on board. One of the signatures of uh, aspects of this restaurant is that we have a raw bar. So we're one of the first companies to introduce this concept. We might have to dig in, research. We've absolutely, research. absolutely. <laughs> taste, taste, taste and taste again. You'll pay for alcohol, but all food and drink is included. Oh, and if you want a tat on board the world's first floating tattoo parlour, that'll be extra. Are you inspired to get a tattoo? Well, I've almost definitely decided to get a tattoo. The only thing that's holding me back is the fact that you can't go swimming, I'm told, for a week or two after you've had a tattoo. Um, and that seems a bit strange to be on a cruise ship and then have a tattoo and not be able to go swimming. Um, but apart from that, if I can overcome that little worry, then I'll definitely get a tattoo. Why is it so important to stay young, to stay fun? It's a lot more fun for yourself if you, if you, if you take that approach. If the guy who's running the company or the girl who's running the company is first in the pool, fully dressed, then everybody else will be in the pool, fully dressed. Next stop, Australia! So how does cruising compare to space, if there is any comparison? Let me see. My trip to space was definitely um, yeah, the most incredible 24 hours of my life. And uh, getting that sort of feedback from people who've been on a Virgin voyage is they seem to indicate that, uh, you know, that, that, that it's been the experience of a lifetime for them. Richard, I have to ask, do you have any plans of slowing down? It doesn't look like it to me. I, I certainly have no wish ever to slow down. Obviously, there will come a time where the body says enough's enough. But, um, but I, think it, I think you really can keep your body like it was when you were in your 20s um, for much longer than people think. So what do you do when you've done it all? You know, the war on drugs. You know, it's, it's, it's been an abject failure for 70 years. Um, it, as a businessman, I would have closed it down 69 years ago and I would have announced from today we're going to treat drugs as a health problem not a criminal problem what about for the virgin brand i think if there was something major left to do i would have done it <laughs> after covid there's a lot of work to, to be done with the companies that that um, got got through covid that you know need to be you know saddled with lots of debt and they need to get back on their feet sir richard branson knows we love to cruise and he's got a surprise for a current affair viewers I've got five free voyages for five lucky Aussies. For your chance to win a free Virgin Voyage for yourself and your plus one, send us an email, acavirgin at nine.com.au and explain why we should pick you. Entries close on Friday. And in true Branson fashion, all good celebrations begin with bubbles and end in the swimming pool.